Faster Fitness Solutions um, as ever. We've got partner in crime Danny. Um, and today we're going to do the first of our intermediate workouts, alright? And as you probably guessed from once kind of right in the middle of us, uh, it's going to be an intermediate kettlebell workout. Um, so we're going to be using pretty similar movement patterns to what we did in the beginner's workout, but this one is a lot more about kind of taxing your heart and lungs, your cardiovascular system, and we're just going to be getting you working for actually five rounds of 20 seconds per circuit. Okay, so we're going to do four exercises, five rounds in all, it'll all become clear with a minute rest between each full circuit and we're going to go through the circuit four times. Alright, so it'll take about 10 minutes. Alright, so with the warm-up and the workout, you're probably again looking at about a 15 minute workout. Um, so yeah, mate, you ready to roll? Oh, I'm excited. Should feel this one a little bit. <laughs> so let's get into the warm-up, guys. Into the warm-up, we're going to get Danny started off and we're going to work on a hip hinge exercise, okay? So he's going to be reaching out and forward, keeping neutral spine, and then you're going to a little bit of a lead back and a stretch up. All right, mate, off we go. We're going to just go through about each exercise again, about 20 seconds. You can see Danny's keeping a nice flat back, good neutral spine position, sticking his arse out, and he should feel it. Hamstrings, mate, as yeah. you go forward, and a little bit through the abs as you come up. That's the Let's keep yeah. this nice going. On your last one. Okay, mate, we're going to that down dog now. We're going to go head down, bum up, and just going into that alternate calf stretch, okay? Off we go. So, we've done a lot of these work exercises in our beginners' workouts already, So and we do them a lot as well. We pretty much do this one in every kind of session that we teach, um, which is really good, really important workout. Okay, now all we're going to do now is just going to sit into a child's pose stretch, but all right, we're just going to walk your hands up as much as you can, sit your bum right back, hands together, and just have a little rock side to side, right? So you're going to transfer your weight from one knee onto the other knee. You should feel a little pull kind of in your lats just there, and as you rock side to side, you should stretch your chain from one side to the other side. Feel that? Yeah, it's a good stretch. Okay guys, we're going to get these lunge muscles warmed up now, so we're going to go chest to floor, we're going to come up, and we're going to come up into a full lunge position, okay, with a reach up overhead, back down in between, come up, full lunge position, with a reach down overhead, off you go bud, so high foot reach, try and put your foot just outside your hand mitt, and then you'll just have a little bit more room to move, and you know, for the females among us, you will not knee yourself in the chest if you put your foot outside of your hand. We don't have to worry about that, but some of our clients might. And let's go one more each side, please, bud, and you can stay up on the last one. Nice, last one. Awesome job. Okay, we're just going to go into our squats now with our big side to side reach, okay? That's it, good one to do facing the camera. So again, really lengthening and we're working that lower back just in the frontal plane. That's it, now keeping them going. swing and we're going to come up into an eye position, into a Y position and into a T position. Alright, so it's I, Y and T. And as you come up, hips forward, really extend through that top motion for me. Alright, off we go, bud. And then what we're going to do as well, just because you've got a lot of movement to go through, so just hands a little bit higher in that Y position please, mate. That's your position there, and then right across, almost walked in front of you then, got a back end there in the chops. <laughs> That's it, one more time through that sequence please bud. And then what we're going to do then guys, we're going to grab hold of the kettlebell and we're going to do the end of the warm up. 
and we're just going to go through the four exercises that we're going to do in the warm up, right? And we're going to do just five reps of each just to get you moving. So the first exercise down is just going to be a kettlebell swing. So you all should be able to do this by now. We're just going to do a few reps of kettlebell swings, then we're going to transition into th burpees. Danny's going to show you how to do a full burpee. Then we're going to go into thrusters, which is turning the kettlebell upside down, a full goblet squat into an overhead press, and then we're going to go into our lunge rows. All right, mate, so we'll just do about five, six reps of everything. All right, off you go, starting with the swings. So keeping that head up all the way through. Remember, no tension through your shoulders, the hips, back, abs are doing all the work. Okay, next, stick that down, we're going to drop you into your burpees. And for this, we want chest down burpees, okay? If you can, jump your feet in like Danny, bring your hips all the way through. If you can't, you can come up one foot at a time. But I want everybody to go chest to the floor, okay? And it's getting up however you can. Let's do one more, Matt. Okay, do you want to transition into those thrusters for me? So, we're going to grab, turn the kettlebell upside down, put the ball of the kettlebell on your chest, we're going into a nice deep squat. As we come up, we're going to transfer the momentum from the squat into your overhead press. We'll do one more of these. Good work, mate. Okay, we're going to transition into our lunge, alright? So, if our left leg's forward, we're going to lean forward, you can lean on your knee if you want, and we're going to row from a position just in front of your foot. Okay? Go, bud. That's it. So this one is working all the muscles in his back, his lats, everything kind of in between his shoulder blades and a bit of bicep as well. I'll do a next couple on the other side. And you can see how he's keeping that good 45 degree angle with his body, his back legs nice and straight, and he's getting his elbow right back and up. I'll do good. Okay, guys, so that's basically what our workout is going to be. This time we're going for 20 seconds per exercise with a minute rest in between, and we're just going to keep it flowing. All right, so it's going to be a bit of a cardio workout now. A little bit okay, time. let's get going. Hey team, so now you've had a chance to have a little bit of a break. We're going to move into our full workout. The same four exercises that we did at the end of the warm-up. We're just doing each one for 20 seconds. We're working for a little bit longer, working on that cardiovascular system a little bit more. You ready to rock it? Yeah, let's go, guys. Okay, 20 seconds, start with the kettlebell swings. Three, two, one, off you go, bud. Again, so weight is through his heels, his head stays up, shoulders back, and let, he's letting the swing do his thing, as I like to say. So nothing through his shoulders, hips, lower back, abs and core, doing all the work. Almost there, mate, last couple of seconds, and time. Okay, we're gonna drop into burpees now. Remember, all the way down, all the way up, let's go. See, Danny's exaggerating this, all right? He's not looking odd just for the sake of it. He's just exaggerating bringing his hips through. So we want him to make sure that he's standing up tall each time. That'll do you, Matt. Okay, we're going to make those thrusters next, yeah? Okay, guys, you ready? Two, one, off we go. Nice deep squat. Use the momentum from the squat to come up overhead and get that really nice stretch up overhead. You can see how Danny's getting his head forward as well at the top of the movement. So he's really opening up his shoulders, getting into a really good position overhead. I like it, man. And this one's the last one, and time. Okay, we're going into the first set of these rows. You ready? Two, one, off we go. We do one with the front view for your next set, mate, as well, right? So stay where you are for this side, and then we'll swap and we'll face the camera just to let everybody have a look at you from their front. We you can see that beautiful face of yours. That's <laughs> it. Oh. And time, but okay, let's swap them around. Off we go. So you can see Danny's with right leg forward, and then he's using his left arm. So we don't want to put, you can lightly touch the kettlebell on the floor like Danny, but you don't want to put any kind of weight for the kettlebell through the floor. So we want to use your back muscles for that transition into the row, yeah? And time. Okay, guys, have a breather, you've got a minute off. How's that, Matt? That's a good work, how is that? Yeah. Got you blowing a bit? Just a touch. So it should have felt a little bit harder than the beginner's workout, yeah? And it's just purely from duration and working for that little bit longer without a break. Yeah. Okay, man, so we got 40 seconds rest, then we're going to go into it again. That's it. <coughs> so I forgot to mention, guys, um, so Danny's using a 12 for this. 
So ladies, anything 8, 10, 12 kilos. Guys, I'd start with a 12 to get a proper workout in. Um, anything further up. So ladies, you got something a bit heavier, depending on how strong you are, um, or how good you are at kettlebell training, even up to a 16 or a 20. Guys, well, if you're really strong, anything 24, 20. Oh yeah. And upwards, yeah? We'll give you a real good workout. Okay, mate, we're gonna go in four, three, two, one, let's go. Back to those kettlebell swings, so you're getting a front view this time, and you can see Danny's taking up to about head height. Okay, doesn't need to go any higher than that. And all the movements coming from those hips. It's all in the hips, man. All in oh, the hips. In the hips. Okay, time where we're going to transition into those burpees now. Okay, off we go. So you can see Danny's not going to a full press up, he's just flopping down. Imagine you're doing the worm in the club or the caterpillar. And then he's just making sure he's bringing his hips through and he's standing fully upright, okay? So like I said in the first one, just get up however you can. Try and work for as many as possible in the time limit. That'll do you, mate. You're going into those thrusters now. You're ready. Two. One, off we go. So again, weight through his heels and his midfoot as he's squatting. He's getting his ass down. Try and get as low as your body will naturally allow you to go, right? We don't expect everybody to be able to squat like Danny, but if you can get to at least horizontal, you're doing good. Last one, Matt, and time. Okay, going into the first set of those rows again. Ready, set, go. So again, that back leg's nice and straight. Both toes are pointing forward, as you can see in this shot. And he's getting a nice row into his hips and his rib cage, yeah? And he's just using that other arm just to lean on his knee so he can keep a really good position through his back. Doing a good job, bud. And time, swap to the other side, man. Ready, off we go. So just try and keep moving, guys. Should feel this through your legs, your bum. Shouldn't really feel it through your lower back. But you should feel it through your right, so with Danny right leg forward, should feel a lot of tension through his hamstring and his bum, and his upper back and arms should be getting a bit tired as well. And time. Well done, bud. Nice okay. Week. Halfway there, guys. Halfway there. So now it's going to start to feel a bit harder. These minute rests are going to start to feel a bit shorter, <laughs> but I promise, there's still a minute. Yeah, time's only relative. When it comes to the rest of time. Yeah. It's like tobacco training, you ever done that? Longest 20 seconds of your life followed by the shortest <laughs> seconds. <laughs> <of your life. laughs> okay, mate, we've got about 20 seconds left. So if you want to know what tobacco is, guys, next time you're at the gym, ask us about it and we'll put you through a workout. You'll love it. Okay, are we ready? Back to your swings again, five seconds. Four, three, two, one. Let's hit it, man. Off we go, back to the swings. So remember, we're letting the swing do its thing. All in the hips. No tension through your neck and your shoulders. You're just redirecting the flow of the kettlebell, okay? Almost there, man, five seconds. Two, one. Okay, we're gonna transition into the burpees, ready. Set, off you go, dude. Like being back in the gym in your fighting days, man. That's what you got. Yeah, I was really enjoying it. That's it, Let's keep it going. You're doing a good job. You don't have to keep up with Danny, guys, alright? But just work at your own pace. What well, I meant, and time. Okay, you're going to those thrusters this time. Ready, steady, let's hit it. Loving those squats, mate. That's the grass. Doing good. And time. Okay, first one of those rows, dude. Ready? Off we go. Looking good. So Danny's keeping a good pace. If you're struggling, guys, it's just about doing what you can do in the time limit, okay? Alright, Danny's a bit of a cardio fiend, so I expected <laughs> him to smash it. But remember, it's just working to your own potential. I'm time, man. Let's swap them over. 
Off we go. Set, doing a great job, but doing a great job. Let's keep it going. Keep digging in now. Come on, guys. This is round three. All right, we're almost there. Ten seconds. Good. We'll see you next time. Take care, guys. Sure.